Financial abuse is one of the hardest forms of domestic violence to overcome. In some of the more covert cases, you don't even know that you're being financially abused until it's too late. Here are some of the more overt ways that a victim can be financially abused, and then we'll get into the sneaky covert ways. Restricting access to money or withholding bank information. Forcing a victim to turn over their entire paycheck. Demanding to control how your income is spent. Forbidding the victim from working at all. Sabotaging the victim's employment by making them miss work or jeopardizing their job. Forcing them to work in the family business without proper compensation or compensation at all. Creating debt in the victim's name without their knowledge or consent. Forcing the victim to take on loans or debts and then controlling the repayment process. Forcing the victim to sign financial documents without understanding the consequences. And now, the covert ways. Monitoring or scrutinizing the victim's spending. Limiting the victim's access to financial information like account information or passwords. Controlling their access to transportation that helps them get to and from work. Denying them the ability to make independent financial decisions. Using guilt or emotional manipulation to coerce the victim into giving money or assets. Hiding or diverting money from joint accounts without the victim's knowledge. Sabotaging the victim's attempts to save money or build their own financial independence. Making the victim feel financially dependent. Using financial generosity as a means to control, like gift giving, but with strings attached. Or minimizing the victim's financial contributions or accomplishments. This is definitely not a comprehensive list. I was financially abused in so many of these ways. Abusers do this to maintain financial control so that you can't leave. The whole point is power and control. They want to keep you. Creditors and banks are notorious for their lack of compassion when it comes to these things. Regaining your financial independence is such a challenge. It can have severe and long-lasting effects on a victim's sense of well-being and security. What's your experience been with financial abuse? Stronger.